Hello everybody. As I received a lot of questions about the neurophone, about the existence or about the functions, I would like to show you the two devices I own and use. Starting with the first one, which is the older version. It's called the Flanagan Neurophone GRS, standing for Golden Ratio Series. As you see, it's a pretty small handy device. On the front you would only find three buttons. On the left side it's power on, off and select. And on the right side it's simply volume up and down. Now normally you would start using the neurophone plugging in the so-called transducers, which are two metal plates connected by cables to the neurophone. And you would put these transducers well, maybe on your forehead or any other place on your body because as you know you would not hear the signal of the neurophone through your ears but through res resonance of certain bones. So that's why it doesn't really matter where you would place it. Now to give you an idea of the signal I plug the neurophone into the stereo and by pushing the left button just once we would enter the Fibonacci program. Volume up volume down. Now this neurophone, the GRS series, is the first neurophone which has this inbuilt Fibonacci sound. The former versions like DSP only had the pink noise, which um, I can demonstrate you by pushing the left button again. Volume up. Volume down. Now this device has two more other programs which are called sleep entrainment programs. The first is based on Fibonacci again and the second on pink noise. I start with the Fibonacci. Now you might already hear the difference to the normal Fibonacci signal. In this sleep entrainment program the signal slows down and also intensity goes down after a certain time. Therefore you should be falling asleep in a very very interesting way. Now based on pink noise Yeah, pushing the left button once again, the device is off. Well, basically that's about the GRS and now we are coming to the more recent model which is called NF1. Now with this device you see a design which you normally do not find on F NF1 series but rather on NF3 which is uh, the latest model. But I think as I bought one of the latest builds, they already changed the design to the NF3 one. Well, the size of this device is pretty much the same. Um, you would also have an on and off button. And you would have uh, the volume up and down. On the back side, you also find a clip, battery case. What is also interesting is this little switch here in the back. This is to increase or decrease the signal intensity of this device. Coming back to the front, this is a major difference to the GRS model. You would find an input 
where you could pretty much plug in any kind of CD or MP3, whatever input you would like to listen to, you know, training programs or any kind of signal or music, whatever you like. The same here as with the Neurophone is the output. Um, the NF1, I think also the NF3, also have an inbuilt background noise, which is not exactly um, the pink noise or Fibonacci. You will find out by using this device that this background noise would change depending on even where you place uh, this device on, on your body or if you touch it or don't touch it. So that's very interesting for experimental use. I don't know much about the follow-up device, this NF3. I think it is based on the same technology as NF1, but I don't have it now, so I can't tell you about the difference. So now you see these two devices really exist. Um, you should try them out to figure out what benefit they could give to you. Um, the Neurophone NF3 should be available in Europe and in America as well. And um, yeah, try to get one.